For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have a uniform thin pole that has a weight of 30 pounds and a length of 26 feet. If it is placed against a smooth wall and on the rough floor in the position D is 10, foot, 10 feet, uh, will it remain in this position when it is released? The coefficient of static friction is US equals 2.3. So let's draw a free body diagram. You know the weight acting right at the middle of this uniform rod, that's why it's uniform. Over here you got a normal at A. Over here you have a normal at B. And over here you have the friction force trying to hold it in place. Now look at this diagram. In the X is where it will start moving. So in the X if you got MB going to the right and you got F going to the left. So if NB is bigger than the friction, then it would move. That's what you need to understand about this problem. If NB is equal or smaller than the friction, then it will be stationary. So that's the only thing you needed to do is to figure out this problem. So now let's figure out some numbers. So you got this length right here is 10 feet. Therefore, this length right here to form our triangle will be 24 feet. How did I find that? Well, you know, guys, I shouldn't even be doing this. 26 square minus 10 square is equal to uh, y square. Let's call this y. You solve for y, you get 24. That's basic trigonometry. You guys should be fine with this. Now, let's do some of the moments at A. Why A? Because we got two forces. And on the other one, we only got one. So let's assume counterclockwise is positive. Some of the moments at A is equal to zero if it's stationary. So zero is equal to the weight times five. Why five? Because that five is turning this lever arm right at the half of 10, which is 5, minus NB times 24, because 24 is turning this lever arm right here with a length of 24. So you solve for NB, and you get that NB is equal to 6.25 pounds. Now, some of the forces in the Y are equal to 0. The sum up to be zero and that is equal to the weight going down plus the normal going up. So you find the normal to be at 30 pounds. You know that the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal acting at that point. We had the normal and we got the coefficient already. Coefficient is given in the question at point 0.3. So point 0.3 times 30 is equal to 9 pounds. And we got the friction. And that's it. As you can see, the friction, which is 9 pounds, is bigger than the normal at B, which is trying to push the rod and make it move. Therefore, is our second condition, which means it will stay stationary. Stationary, okay. And that is the final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.